walks in for the challenge, she has a princess crown on and a wand. You like my crown? Yes. All I keep thinking is, I think she's a witch. Little fairy princess. More like the fairy godmother. Here, can you guys guess what the theme might be this week? Yes. What are you thinking? Fairy tales. Fairy tales. All right, guys, let's get to this week's group challenge dance. You all know the choreographer. It's Anthony Burrell. Woo! So this week's uh, challenge is individuality. I'll give you a combination with uh, legs, turns, and jumps. And within that combination, you'll put your own little spin on top of it. Cool? These kids may attend an audition where there's 800 dancers on the floor. What draws my eyes to you? What's your individuality? This is going to be a tough one. Let's go. One, boom, boom, boom. I keep saying, come on, Hadley, focus on your ballet many, many hours every week and just do the best job that you can do in this challenge. All right, guys, Anthony, I got to cut it off right here. It's all the time you get. Your wicked stepmother is here to judge you. All right, am I going to see what's different, what's unique, what's special about each and every one of you? Let's begin and see who fits into the shoe. Music. Godmother is impressed. Decisions, decisions. Amanda, the shoe does not fit. However, you were beautiful. Thank you. I'm happy for Madison. You know, I'm glad that she won. But if I look at little technical details and I give that credit that should have been given, Amanda should have won. Congratulations, Madison. You have won the challenge. And with your victory, you are the lead in the group performance. May you all dance happily ever after. Right. OK. Welcome to the stage portion of Abby's Ultimate Dance Competition. Our six dancers have spent the past few days perfecting their competition dances. But before we get to those, they also worked on a group number inspired by this week's fairy tale theme. Here are our six remaining dancers. Give them a round of applause. Our second performance of the night is a jazz piece about Tinkerbell. Here's Hadley. I think the pixie dust worked. 
It was sweet. It was fun. I like the little shimmy of the shoulders and the wings moving all the time. I think you always have to work on your feet, but I watched you. You knelt right here in front of me, and those insteps stayed on the ground. Richie? You look beautiful. I felt like you were still Tinkerbell. You didn't drop out of the movie all of a sudden. And there are a few things you could work on, but I have to say that at the end of the day, you gave me more of a performance than I actually expected from you. Mm -hmm. So great job. I thought it was a really beautiful, clean performance. I liked it a lot. Did I absolutely love it? I'm not sure. Nice job, Hadley. Thank you, judges. You can head down to the green room with your mom. Okay. It, it wasn't her best performance, but but it's okay. At least she wasn't slaughtered. You gotta pick up your feet and travel, okay? You need to travel. This right here, you have to turn, remember? Don't worry about it. Okay. My biggest fear about the trash bag dress is that she's gonna trip as soon as she winds out of it and that her first step is gonna be to the floor. Let's hear it for Asia. Go, Asia, go. I love you. Why are you stepping on it? No, I didn't. Stop reacting that. Asia's performance in the beginning of her dance was amazing. She shows so much presence. But then you get the rest of it, and the technique is just not 100% there. Let's see what the judges have to say. Abby. I think the top half of her is in the top half of the competition, and the bottom half of her is in the bottom half of the competition. That's how I see it. You hit a great straddle leap. How many feet should you land on in a leap? One. Right. When you do your glee sod or your run run, should it be parallel, turned out, or turned in? Turned out. I think so, too. All right, take it away, Richie. I thought you were fantastic. Thank I you. could not take my eyes off you. <laughs> Ooh, that walk back. Oh. I'm like, who are you? You dance like a diva, and obviously you know what that means, which is really weird, but you do. She may not have learned it from her mom. Maybe she did learn it from me and the Pussycat Dolls. But, but you are a great performer. You're an artist. Judges, thank you. Let's give it up for Asia. This competition is not all about the face and the performance and the freedom and the feeling. It's a dance competition. And I am looking for beautiful lines, for great feet, for technique. Asia. Hadley, please step forward. Asia, Hadley, one of you are going home tonight. Asia, I thought you gave a spectacular performance of The Wicked Witch tonight. Hadley, I thought you were sprite, I thought you were fun, and I thought you nailed the portrayal of Tinkerbell. However, both of you had flaws. Hadley. Today is not your day. You took it like a champ. And when I gave you those tough critiques, you stood there with a smile on your face and you learned something. And I thought for sure that you were gonna come back strong and maybe win this competition. Tinkerbell, thank you. Now it's time to fly away home. Thank you. Thank you, sweetheart. Asia, congratulations. You are moving forward in the competition. 
Welcome to the top five. Thank you. Oh my goodness. I'm very, 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 very extremely excited to be in the top five. Now the real Wicked Witch is going home. And now I can live happily ever after.